Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Time Walk TV. Now, if this is your first time here, my name is Ron, and this channel is all about Magic the Gathering. Now, today, we're going to be playing a Bant Scape Shift list, the one that LSV took to a first place finish at GP Denver. We're going to dive right in and try this deck out. I heard it's really, really good, but I'll have to find out for myself and make a ton of zombies in the process. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome into Arena. We've got the deck loaded up here. We can go over it real quick. We've got four Arboreal Grazers. The Growth Spirals get more lands into play. Hydro Crease is a good way to fuel back up after we've, you know, expended all of our resources here. Uh, Elvish Rejuvenator is really nice because you can put a land card. It's not specific to a basic land. So any land that's in your hand or that it finds in its top five can go into play. That's really, really great. Grow from Ashes, get some of your basics into play. Same with uh, Circulus Route. It also gets your Guild Gates into play, which is nice, and it gets two of them. Scape Shift, Modern Staple, sack any number of lands, get that many lands onto the battlefield. So you're going to be comboing this with probably seven, eight lands and your Field of the Dead, which says when another land enters the battlefield and you have seven different lands with different names, then you get a 2-2 zombie. So once you get pretty far into the game and you have two, or three, or four of these out, every land is going to be triggering for that many. So if you have four of these with seven different land types, the next time you play land, you're going to get four zombies. Each one of them will trigger separately. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, the last piece of this is the Scourge of Standard uh, Teferi Time Raveler. Uh, basically a planeswalker that doesn't allow your opponents to cast spells unless they're sorcery speed. So it kind of messes with a lot of the timing issues with some of the cards like Chandra Acolyte of Flame or Finale of Promise, stuff like that. Uh, pretty annoying in that sense to play against. Uh, that's mainly the reason they're playing in this deck. It's one of the best cards in the format. So, you know, moving forward, I really don't like to play it too much just because I hate playing against it so I, I it's a double-edged sword for me but we're gonna play it here this is LSV's list from GP Denver he did really really well beat a lot of good decks um, in the sideboard we've got a Johnny's welcome for uh, some life gain for some of the red decks Veil of Summer for the black and blue decks to make your stuff uncounterable or protect it from removal again Dovin's veto Uncounterable counterspell. There's nothing more you can ask for in a counterspell, so this is going to go in against a lot of the control decks. Uh, Deputy, Deputy of Detention is going to be for your opposing scape shift decks, although it does hit your own if you tag one of their zombies. Uh, so maybe not the best, but if they go off before you and you're able to snag a bunch of their zombies and then make your own, then you'll be leaps and bounds ahead of them, so it's kind of like a catch-up card. We have Crucible Worlds to replay our lands from the graveyard when we get into those long stall kind of grindy games. And we have Ixalan's Binding. I think this is more for the Planeswalkers. You can kind of uh, keep them off of their main cards like Teferi's or mm, Chandra's sometimes. So that's pretty nice. nice. Uh, Ripjaw Raptor. Not really sure where this comes in. Probably against like a red deck that has a lot of burn, a lot of damage spells. Because they can't swing through it because you're going to draw cards. And it's just a big, it's just a big body for four mana. Uh, so that's the deck. We're gonna go in and jump into some matches and see how we do. Okay, here we are for round one, match one. Take a look at what kind of hand we have here. We have Temple of Mystery and Selesnya Guildgate. So we have our colors. We have a Growth Spiral, and we have Prison Realm. So we have our draw cards. We have our interaction with Teferi and Prison Realm. I think. As a six without skate shift, this is a very, very good deck. Now we can temple into an untapped land so we can play growth spiral on two, which would accelerate us into maybe a crisis or um, a pretty quick to fairies, stuff like that. So I think we're going to keep this even though we are on the on the draw. We'll just see what our opponent's going to be starting off with. Temple of Mystery. So it looks like we are either against Simic Nexus deck or we are against uh, the mirror. So 
Knowing that information, I'm going to temple and we're going to leave the forest on top so we can play Growth Spiral on two. That allows us to draw a card and put this guild gate into play for free. All right, so they're going to play in Hollowed Fallon, untapped. Looks like they're setting up for a Growth Spiral. So we will go ahead and play our forest and say go. Now when they cast their spell, we're going to Growth Spiral and cast ours. So here comes the Growth Spiral. I'm going to Growth Spiral myself. Draw a card. And let's put the Thornwood Falls into play. You know what we should have done? I wanted to gain the life from this, but I really shouldn't have done this so I can actually cast my spells. So this is going to be pretty rough if we're not able to cast our Prison Realm this turn, mainly because they'll be able to untap with their Teferi. So not so lucky. Since they minus with their Teferi to draw a card immediately, it makes me think that they may be stuck on lands or they're digging for something specific now definitely against the mirror here so i think what we'll do is we'll play our field of the dead it does enter tap though hmm, i thought it entered untapped this is tough i really wanted to play crisis let's go ahead and just play our guild gate get our white mana going and from here i don't think we can really do much uh, i'd love if we had an untapped land to play Crisis, but I should have used Gross Pile correctly and put the Guildgate into play. Then we could have cast Teferi, no problem. So now they're going to be pushing ahead a little bit quicker than us. They have a Teferi into Elvish Rejuvenator. That's pretty rough. So let's see. I think we actually are going to Prison Realm their Teferi. This will allow us to scry second prison realm. There's two in the main deck, but I want a second one. Temple Garden. Um, you know, I think I probably do. We just want to... The thing is, they don't... There's no way for me to get rid of this unless we have, like, a field. Um, I can't remember the card right now, but... We need something to get rid of this card or it's gonna gonna beat us pretty good. So let's keep the prison realm. More interaction for maybe a second to fairy or something like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and play our field of dead because we can play this untapped next turn if we want to, just because it's uh shark land, so pay two life, have it come to play untapped. Another Elvish Rejuvenator. So they're missing land drops from their hand, but they're able to get their lands to come into play through their Elvish Rejuvenators. So that's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this for four. Three, four, five, six. That'll draw us two cards and give us a four, four in play since they're missing their land drops. But they still have five lands, so it's not, it's not like they're you know, behind or anything, Elvish Rejuvenator is kind of getting them back into this game. But as for us, we have a bunch of lands. We already have all of our Field of the Dead, so once we get to a point where we can cast Scape Shift, then we may just be able to make a ton of zombies, so that's actually pretty exciting. Now at this point, I think, I think what we want to do is play our land, so that'll be our seventh land and make a zombie. Wow, this deck is amazing. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even look at that. One, two, and three to cast Prison Realm. We do not want another land. Take care of that. Let's play to Fairy and plus. I don't really care. Yeah, I'm just going to hit him for four. And then what we'll do next turn is we'll plus and then we'll end of their turn scape shift and make a ton of zombies. Because we have three of our four fielded dead, so we can actually go pick one up with scape shift, which is great. Um, 
unfortunate for them, they were they hit Temple of Mystery, two of their Temple of Mysteries, so they didn't have their seven different land types. Um, I already have a four, so I'm going to go get a island just to make sure I have the seven different land types. And this will actually allow us to play Growth Spiral end of their turn, which is insane. Now, let's see. He's going to bounce that. That's not too bad. Let's see if they swing. If they swing, I get to eat one of them with a zombie that I'm about to make. Actually, <laughs> oh man, I'm so silly. I should have. I, sh I didn't even think about. Ah, oh, that's so silly. Okay, so they have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have six different land types. So we're gonna plus here. We'll play our grazer to get one field of the dead into play. Make a zombie. Then we'll play the other one. Make two zombies. And then we're going to sack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and then we'll cast that, or we'll do that, and we'll get uh, Field of Dead plus six other land types, and we'll make a bunch of zombies at the end of their turn and win the game. Yay! <laughs> Magic! <laughs> oh no, it's got Reach! <gasps> this has Trample! Woohoo! I forgot that had reach and it still worked out for me. I guess that that happens. So they're going to scape shift. So let's see. They can get three, four, five, six, seven lands. That means they can get a third and make a bunch of them. I, I mean, I'm just going to make just as many, right? Yeah. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. We'll just see how they how they fare. I think you can get a third. Third field of ruin plus six different land types, and then that'll make six times three is some number. Eighteen? I don't know. <laughs> eighteen? I think it's eighteen zombies. One thing we have going for us is that we make eighteen, and then we have these three plus the crisis, so we actually have a good swing next turn. Blast zone. Yikes. Yep, 16. Yeah, we'll just let him make a bunch of zombies here. That's actually a pretty sweet card. A little blast zone action. Can't take care of... Uh, of tokens, but it does put a lot of power into play. That is for sure. I wonder why the blast zone came in un untapped. I guess you just go get them, right? Uh, let's pass. And then we'll scape shift them to their turn. Get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that way we can get field one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's right. I do it right. Woo hoo hoo! 22, baby! Resolve all. I was worried that I wasn't going to do it right the first time and it was just going to fizzle on me. Wow, that's a lot. It's a lot of like squishing noises, too. It's kind of gross. Um, yeah, we'll minus to get one of the dudes out of the way. Um, let's see. Well, how about you figure it out? Because I don't want to. <laughs> oh, how did they do that? Oh, how they do that? That was sick. What? Boy, I got the stupidest sets of lands, didn't I? Huh. Well, I guess I'll do next. See what happens. This person has played this deck before if they knew how to do that little shortcut. Are they dead? Ha ha ha! We beat them! <laughs> A little suspense there at the end. I didn't even know. 
<laughs> All right. Game two. Against the mirror. Um. Uh, what do we do here? I don't think this is any matchup for these things. I think we just take out our growth in the ashes. And we put in our deputy deputy of detention. And the rest of the deck kind of seems good enough. Dovin's Veto sounds good as long as they don't have the old Teferi out. Hmm. I mean, we won game one, so we have a game to play with, kind of. I don't really want to change too much. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to change those two cards. I think that's what those two cards are for. I think the Dovin's Vetoes are for, like, control decks. Not necessarily this deck. I guess we'll find out if we get crushed. So we have Grazer into Growth Spiral. Unfortunately, no untapped green source on turn one, but we do have Temple into Hollow Fountain to Growth Spiral in a Celestia Guild Gate, and then you know go from there. No really big payoffs right now, which stinks. But I believe we'll get there. I'm really interested in this deck for the the pure sense of how they built the... Oh, I should have put that to the bottom. How they built the mana base. I've been having so much trouble lately building mana bases. When I first started playing Magic, I didn't have... I felt like I didn't have problems building mana bases. And this is back in like the end of Innistrad... Uh, block basically so we did have our shock lands from RTR and other stuff like that so I don't know I just feel like I didn't have a problem back then and I was you know doing calculations and stuff and maybe I just thought I was doing the right thing but in reality I was just uh, enjoying the process more than anything but I'm just I've just been having so much trouble building land bases in this in this format because I know you can build four and five color mana bases pretty easily I just uh, have no idea how to do that <laughs> so this is actually a pretty cool uh, turn for us because we get to grazer which lets us put field of the ruin into play and then we get to elvish rejuvenator hopefully hitting a land What's our Field of the Dead, which is nice. We have one, two, three, four, five, six different types. Next turn we get to play Azorius Gilgate for our seventh. And make a zombie. We're already making zombies. You know, the one music video I've been watching, the Post Malone Goodbye video. Oh, he's a zombie in that. Also, how dare you make a zombie before me? How dare you so does this come into play tapped they do because this cost three one two three right here and then this would be four i don't have that hmm i think i need to take them off of their field now just just get it over with oh this will come into play untapped that's fantastic actually Oh, yes, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I don't have any other basics, right? Um, we'll play a land, make a dude, and then we'll go get... What are we getting? We're going to get island and plains and make two more zombies beautiful and no attacks now this is making our our deputy look not so great because if we deputy their zombie our zombies get taken this is basic this is 100 percent the text of detention sphere so if i take one of their guys 
I get all my guys taken as well. This is actually pretty nice because we get to do that to this thing. Holy mother of... Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. That might be it, folks. That might be it. Let's Let's see. Blue, white. Let's get rid of your guy. We'll swing. See if they block. I wouldn't see why not. Yeah, good thing I didn't play Border Grazer. So let's scape shift. And since they're tapped out. We'll sack, 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 sack. We'll get what? Three, six, seven, eight. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. There we go. Oh, let's see if they have the answer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I'm starting to get it a little bit. I th so this is my first time playing the scape shift deck. I think um, every time you scape shift, you want to do it for six plus I think if you have a field out escape shift of your own huh interesting let's see if they mess this up and try to get too many fields I might have a little bit of inch because I can swing into them but yeah with with scape shift if you already have a field out you want to do at least six um, but that, uh, that really doesn't net you, I guess it, I guess it gets you six zombies. If you have seven lands with a field, so if you have, well, let me think, let me think. I know math is super, super hard. I'm like, oh, gotta crunch the numbers. I think they got the same amount as me. Yeah, if you, if you're able to sack seven or eight lands, all you need to do is get six different types because your field of the ruin, field of the dead that's in play, is already enough. Um, let's see. Holy moly! Well, let's swing out. Swinging out here. You know what I should have gotten? I should have gotten. Um, the memorial card. That's what I should have got. No idea how he was able to, like, they were able to do that. But regardless, I'm playing Growth Spiral. I'm gonna make three zombies here. Enters tapped. Okay. Make three zombies. Go. Yeah, might as well play this. It's merely a blocker right now. Maybe I could have taken those out. I think they're good game one, but game two, probably not so great. Yeah, next time next time I scape shove, especially if I'm in the mirror, it's really important to get specific lands, not just pick six different ones to make a bunch of... Uh, make a bunch of zombies like I could have gotten Memorial the Genius and I could have gotten uh, I forget what else I had in there probably Field of Ruin I could have got those cards so that I have redraws plus um, something to take out their Field of the Deads um, we'll see what we have here another growth spot that's not good I want something useful here Okay, so they brought in Dovin's Veto against me. Well, this is no good. We're we're in a bad spot here. We're in a really bad spot. I think they're playing our exact same list. 
I don't think I was very smart in how I... So how do we do this? How did he do it? Faster blocks? How did he do it? See, I don't know how he did it. I don't understand. They probably have another land to play. Probably gonna get blown out this turn. If I if they just have like another thing to get a bunch of lands in play. Yeah. Well they sacked a lot of lands. We'll see if they have enough left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They might not have enough lands to make this work because they need five, five different land types, lands with na five different names. They might have messed up because they they did a huge scape shift last time for enough. Do they get it? Yeah, they win. Well, we have the one shot of hitting the tension. Deputy, Deputy of Detention. So let's see. Gosh, that noise is terrible. It's terrible. I don't like it. Well, we got to redraw. Well, actually, we have... Bounce that back. That thing dies. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that's good. Uh, we need... Blue and white. And then we'll get your zombie. Oh, ho, ho, that's sweet. Oh, we did it. <gasps> we made the expert play and got the victory. All right, we are back for round number two. We took a nice 2-0 victory versus the mirror last round. So we're looking to do the same, except not play against the mirror, obviously. That was not too fun of a match, but it was a pretty sweet ending. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have Grow from Ashes, Circulus Route, and Escape Shift. Only two lands. Now if we hit running lands, then we're in business. But as it stands, I don't like double Escape Shift in the hand. Uh, and we really don't do anything early on, so I'm just going to mulligan since we are on the play. Now this hand's a bit better. We get to go Grazer into Field of the Dead and possibly a turn two to Fairy if we can draw a land. So we'll go ahead and keep six, and we will get rid of one to Fairy because everything else just seems really, really good. The second rat. That's who we're playing against. Hmm. Takes me back to the the old pack rat days. Mono black devotion. Alright, let's see if we can hit a land untapped, preferably. If not, not too big of a deal. Did not hit the land. Gonna play our grazer just to get something out there. And we will not send a message this time. Breeding pool, again, that could be Nexus, or it could be Saltai. Not really seeing Saltai too much, but that's actually pretty sweet. Unfortunately, we're kind of hitting a, a streak of no lands, which is a bit unfortunate. But once we do hit a land, I think we can kind of scale from there and, and really do some work. So, uh, nothing we can do here except for pass the turn. We can hit a land. At this point, I don't even care if it's untapped. I just want to hit any land so I can play Grow From The Ashes into Circuitous Route. And I always try to find like really hard words to say on these cards. It can't be like, I don't know, Circular Route. <laughs> Something easy. I don't like stuff difficult. Unless it's my magic deck, then I like some... Uh, some nice difficult stuff going on here. So the Ravenous Chupacabra are Grazer. And then we draw the the old Hydroid Crasis. Hmm, not looking too good for us right now. We do have a good blocker here, so we'll only be taking two. 
But as they hit land drops and play bigger and bigger stuff, we're slowly going to get outclassed and it's going to become very apparent in the next few turns that we have no chance of coming back. So we'll see what they do here. They currently have four mana, mana five mana. It's a Field of the Dead deck. So maybe they have Scape Shift, but they also have Spark Double, which is a questionable uh, inclusion. We're just going to go ahead and pack it in here. They've got seven damage on board, so it's a two-turn clock. Nothing we can really do there. Just unfortunate we didn't have our land drops. It happens. Magic variance game. Not a big deal. For this deck, they have like Chupacabras and other like ramp style cards. Um, probably just the Veil of Summers. Yeah, let's do uh, four grazers for three summers and a, I don't know if I want to do veto, maybe Crucible of Worlds, maybe, we'll do a binding, we'll see how, we'll see how that does, because this, this could, could lock down some of their stuff, so I think we're just going to bring in Veils, bring in Ixalan's binding, and past and hopefully get into the next game pretty quickly here now i didn't read anything about this deck i didn't this is my first time playing it i didn't even watch lsv play the deck uh, so i'm not sure how to sideboard you know what cards are cards you never take out stuff like that so kind of just winging it right now having some fun making some zombies well attempting to make zombies game one was a Fan, or sorry, match one was a fantastic display of how insanely powerful the deck is. You just play some lands and you make zombies. It's great. Um, I would really be interested in like a sideboard guide that he used for the for the GP, but hopefully we'll get that soon here. Uh, we're definitely going to play first. So this hand is much much better. We have Rejuvenator in to grow from the ashes. We do not have blue mana yet, but I, this will be able to get us blue mana. And this might just get us blue mana too. So that's a question of what we're going to play on three, but we're definitely going to keep seven. A bunch of untapped lands too. Deck has a quite a smattering of tap lands, which is can be a bit annoying, but it's needed for the type of uh, deck it has here. So they're going to be able to take our scape shift. Not a big deal, not not the biggest deal to be honest um, we'll go ahead and play our land our sun petal grove pass the turn now if we don't draw a blue source I might just grow from the ashes just to ensure that we do hit a blue source so yeah I will do that instead of risking it on elvish rejuvenator then that will hit our island and next turn if we don't hit a land we'll just crisis for two and we'll draw a card or if we hit a land, we will probably do the same thing. Uh, or we can Elvis Rejuvenator, so that might be a thing. Paradise Druid is an interesting inclusion in this. And what in the world is that? Enters the battlefield, draw a card. Elemental Wizard. What did they play last turn? Last game? Chupacabras. Why is this in here? Is it like a Sultai? Elemental deck? Huh. Well, anyway, we'll just play Elvis Rejuvenator and, and start ramping here. Excuse me. What is this card for? Elemental Wizard. Huh. Another draw a card. I wonder if they have like a wizard package or a or an elemental package or something like that. That's very strange. That is very strange. Let's do this for three and then we have profitable blockers. They're in the air. 
only get to draw one card, but that is okay. One, two, three, four, five different types. We have six different types now. We're going to gain a life. All right, everything's going pretty smoothly. They have a full grip. Well, no, almost full grip. Six cards. These are just 2-1 flyers that don't really do anything. Oh, they have like a Risen Reef package going on. I don't know why you would choose this as your elemental. It, it is a flyer that draws a card, which is pretty sweet. But it's also a 3-drop. I don't know. Interesting choice, but not what I would pick, probably. So if I play this and scape shift for six, I'd have to get six other ones. So I think we wait. Let's actually, let's feel the dead first, make a zombie. Let's rejuvenator, get a land, make a zombie. We will not play that. So next time we can field plus scape shift. No attacks right now. Do not have good. Well, if, I, if he double blocks, then I just kill both of them. But Risen Reef will be a problem here, especially if they play Yarok. Maybe that's why they're playing this card. Immortal Sun, huh? Why are you playing Immortal Sun? I mean, it's a great card. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, it does pump up his dudes. How about that? It does pump up your guys. Now, as long as I don't have a sweeper next turn, we will make enough zombies to kill them on the backswing. Um, three damage. Don't really care. Crazy. So let's make a zombie. So if we do this and then get un two untapped lands, we can make more zombies. So let's tap, 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 tap. We're going to tap all of our lands here. And then we're going to escape shift. Negate. Woo, man, that didn't that caught me off guard a little bit. Negate, huh? Darn. Darn. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess you got it. Um, yeah, I think we'll just swing. Not these guys. Yeah, we'll try to race them a little bit. They're going to be drawing extra cards. That's a good trade for me. Just because I have double craces in hand. Oh, darn. I I left my mana floating and then went to, went to combat. <laughs> well, that's no good. Oh, well. So they, have, they also have the... What is it called? The Field of the Dead combo. Yep, so Risen Reef is going to put a land in play, which... Obviously, it's Field of the Dead. <laughs> but they only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so yeah, they did make the zombie. That's going to make another zombie. Big old six, seven Reacher. Got me. Ooh, Teferi is a pretty good one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do this for seven. That will draw us three cards. Guess your life. And we'll put this into play and make a zombie. No need to attack there. Hmm. It's tough because they're drawing two cards a turn and they pump their whole team. So we don't have really good trades here. And there's the Yarok. Pretty much saw that coming here see what else they have to follow this up duress it's going to grab my teferi which stinks that I, I would love to bounce that and clock them for seven that's two turn clock oh no they have a reacher they have a reacher but 
I can block that. <laughs> oh, my kitty cat. What a crazy kitty cat you are. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll just do it like that. Tell me they have another unit. That's crazy. Oh, my cat's like fighting something. He's like over there doing acrobatics. Uh, let's play our land, make a zombie. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, and draw three. Okay, land, 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 lands. Um, we, what does this have? Death, death touch, and lifelink. I think we'll swing here. If they block with this, I can kill it. Which means they get a permanent back, right? Target card. I wonder if that cat is like trying to uh, attack a bug or something. Not sure. But we'll see. So we still have another crisis in the air. Bunch of lands in play which aren't that great. We do have Memorial to Genius, so. With that specifically, we can uh, we can draw two, try to find ourselves a scape shift to close this game out. Because sadly, if we don't, the uh, the draft all star Cloudkin Seer is going to crush us. So you get double risen reef, double draw triggers. And they got, and they have Field of the Dead as well. This is a, uh, I've only seen it on Jeff um, Hogland's stream, and uh, it's really, really crazy cool deck. Does so much insane stuff. I, I don't think he plays the Sears. It's not one of those cards I think he would probably play. Just it, it's just got terrible stats for the mana cost. Uh, it is an elemental and it draws a card. Which is really cool, and the flyer has actually helped a lot. But uh, yeah, a lot of the decks I've been seeing are ones that I've seen on his stream. So uh, it's awesome to see all these really cool decks come from a great creator like Jeff. So definitely props to him. He's really on the forefront of anything constructed competitive. So really props to him. So they are all three threes. Hmm, I think we'll block one and block two. I'm not sure how to do that whole block thing where like you can just click on one thing and it blocks them all. So I'll just block there and hopefully I'm not dead. I really need a scape shift. If I don't find a scape shift then I'm pretty dead. Scape shift would do it. I'm sure I'm not sure why they didn't block with that, but or attack with this. But we'll see. Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, sure. We'll look for a basic. Get that out of my deck. Anything else? No. It's not looking good for our hero. We don't have any good... No good attacks. Not really great blocks. And nothing but land in our hands. Uh, no. I'm going to play out all lands in my hand constantly. Now they're just drawing through their deck super, super quick. Hopefully they play a bunch of stuff to get through their deck real quick. And then this, uh, this kills them. But I don't think, I don't think we're making it out of this turn alive. Oh boy. Yep. We are going to pack it in here after the random age, agent of treachery, uh, card shows up. So after a crazy, awesome win, we get a crazy... Awesome defeat. Love that Yorok deck. Shame that we didn't get to kind of go off like we did in round one, but uh, you know, you got to bow to the Yorok sometime. That thing is absolutely insane. So let's move on to round number three. All right, back for round number three. And our hand is kind of meh. If we draw land, it's great. If we don't, it's not that good. Although we do have Rejuvenator into Route. We are going first. So that means we don't get to draw. Um, I'm going to Mulligan. 
I think there's better sixes just like this one. Um, we can grazer into temple, turn to grow into route. So I think the one we kick back is scape shift actually. Let's keep this six, kick that scape shift to the bottom. And now we have our first three to four turns mapped out already. Just waiting on the opponent to choose their seven or six. I'm not sure what they, if they mulliganed. There we go. Okay, so we're going to pay two life. Play the grazer. Put the temple into play. Scry. Teferi, Teferi works. Yeah, Teferi's good. I might actually play Teferi next instead of the Grow. Um, actually, no, I just, I, oh crap, it comes into play tapped, no! Well, if we get an untapped land, we get to play the Route. Not so much. And we can't even bounce that, so... Hmm. Yeah, let's let's do this. We have what green green blue white We will grab a forest Beautiful Grazer's a good blocker for these paradise dudes uh, Looks like we might have a bant ramp deck or a simic manipulation deck uh, When you see paradise druid, it's pretty strictly a ramp deck and Gift of Paradise definitely goes along with that as well. So this turn, though, we get to to Fairy and bounce that sucker to his hand or their hand, um, make them play it all over again, especially if they don't have the land. Make them play it again. Uh, kind of slow them down. Tempo tempo play a little bit here using the old. The old Teferi trick. Bounce to your hand. And they don't have a land. That's pretty crazy. Um, I'm actually going to route here. I want to get two lands this turn. We'll get uh, Simic and Selesnya. We want to keep our basics in our deck just in case we grab our other grind rights. And then this should be our seventh land and we'll get a zombie. Let's go ahead and plus. No attacks. Now, let's see. I think we need two more lands. I think two more lands would get us to the point where we can make like 20 some. Now they're going to make a 3-3. Three, three, probably with the forest here. I'm going to block with the Grazer and then Prison Realm the, the Nyssa. Let's go ahead and block. And there's a two mana to play a 0-3. Okay. Well, let's 1, 2, and 3 for Prison Realm. On the Nyssa, exile that, and then scry island to the bottom. Then we will Elvish Rejuvenator. Hopefully hitting a land here. <clears throat> Get the Azuri skill gate, make a token. We'll plus, no attack. So now we have a double blocker for the forest. Blocker for this. They missed their land drop last turn. They might not have hit their land drop this turn. They do have the two, three, four, five mana they need for another Nyssa. Immortal Sun is completely fine. So that is actually insanity that we drew that. Oh boy. So let's see. We'll play the Field of the Dead, make two zombies. Tap, 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 
plate. Elvis Rejuvenator. Eh, maybe we should have waited till after the escape shift. Make two more zombies. Put that in the bottom because we're going to shuffle it anyway. So now we can sack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can get the last two plus six, seven. Yeah, so we can just do this now. Well, actually, let's attack. And then let's escape shift, getting rid of three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Submit eight. <clears throat> and then we want some utility lands too. Like we want blast zone. We want both our fields. So we got five more left. Memorial the Genius. Gain life, gain life. Temple Garden. Hollowed Fountain. Tapped, tapped. I was gonna say we better have some triggers here. Three, six, and now that, and that's seven. <clears throat> They all enter at the same time. Make a bunch of guys. Oh, I hate the sound of the of the fly in this game. Cause it's like, oh, you made a decaying zombie. It's got flies flying around it. <laughs> and then just like, is there a fly in the room? Is he trying to get me? And you're always swatting away. Where's the fly? Where's the fly? You know, one of those. <laughs> I hate the flies that get into my house. They're so annoying because you never see them all day. And then when you sit down to do something, you, you, you know, right past your head. I think they are dead. Just a hunch, but I think we got them. And I hope they're not just timing us out because they're mad. And maybe? Immortal Sun is a very interesting card for main deck purposes I can see this deck playing it just because of all the zombies they make I'm not sure why you would want to make your zombies bigger for whatever reason but the fairy has been great Elvis Rejuvenator has been an all-star absolute all-star getting a land into play and you play enough lands that hits almost every single time so really really cool that this card's seeing play and it's doing really well and we got them game one. So it looks like they're kind of like a ramp Nissa deck. What do we do? Oh, I think they I think they quit. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Man, I was like, no, no, don't. I just want to play Magic. <laughs> well, let's see. On the draw, Grazer's pretty, pretty mediocre. Vito's pretty crap. Um, maybe we just take out two grows for two Ixalan's Bindings? Although I could see taking out two Grazers for two Vetoes as well. Because their big spells are usually not creatures like Nyssa or Manipulation. Maybe like Finale of Glory if they are in that those colors, so... I mean, I could, I could see it trimming a scape shift as well. But I'm not sure what to take in and what stays... Sorry, what, what to take out, what stays in every time. Like, there has to be, like, a core that you never... You never take out, right? So, like, in the... Like, the Black Red Aristocrats deck, uh, the Priest, the two-drop Priest, that stays in no matter what. It's kind of like a Dark Confidant where you play it on two if it lives you're probably in a good spot to win the game. So I'm not sure what stays in every turn, what stay sorry, what stays in every game and what stays out every game. Like what's what are my what are my flex cards? What cards can I take in and out easily in each matchup and not worry about it? Like I used to play control decks that had these two mana counter spells that were really bad. I think they're still in standard actually quench. Uh, counter target spell unless they pay two. 
So I played a deck that had four of those because in game one they were super, super effective because you're just trying to counter their stuff early and then play a threat. And then games two and three, when the games kind of stretch out a little bit, go a little bit longer, then that's easy four spots that you can put any of your cyborg cards in without even have to worry about it. So still trying to figure out what those cards are for this deck because there usually are some of those. But uh, no, this hand looks great. We have uh, a temple into untapped land for growth spiral into rejuvenator into hydra so easy keep here we're on the draw so we get to draw a card before our turn which is awesome and this growth spiral will catch us back up so we are um on par with land drops we'll be caught right up to them we'll probably it'll seem like we're on the play if we do if we are able to hit our growth spirals as long as we don't have any mana accelerants early which looking at their deck last game I don't see how that's not going to happen. But let's see. Nothing. So let's go ahead and temple. What are we looking for here? Do we need to land three, four, five? Well, with, with growth and rejuvenator, I'm actually going to put that to the bottom. We do already have a white source for Teferi when we want to play it. Yeah, this is like a turn where Grazer would be insane. Like turn one this and this and then play Teferi on two. Really, really fair. Alright, so let's go and pass the turn. Nothing really we can do yet. We're going to Growth Spiral and put our probably our Field of the Dead just because it's one of those lands that come into play tapped. And then we are going to play probably a Breeding Pool or a Plains, depending on what's next. Leaf Kin Druid. Okay, so the ramp continues. Alright, so they have an Elemental Package in this deck. They're going to hit us for two. Yep. Let's go ahead and Growth Spiral. But Field of the Dead in play. That's interesting. I think we wait till they play a threat. Hmm. Yeah, see if I go in here and I bounce, then they just they don't do anything. But I could. It's a 1 1. Wish I was a 1 2. <laughs> I could play this and then play Teferian Plus, and they can only hit it down to 2. And then I'll be able to play Krasis or Rejuvenator next turn. I think we just want to get this going as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and look for another land. Um, we'll grab the Hollowed Fountain. Tapped. Play that tapped. And now we are at five lands. And there is six and so There's six. Seventh is not there currently. Oh, so they are teamer. Interesting. Didn't see any red mana last turn, last game. Let's go ahead and binding that thing. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So here is a cool thing. So now we have our sixth land, and there's our seventh land. I think next turn we're going to play Teferi plus, depending on what they play here. It's like a big Nissa that's going to stink because we don't have any way to do anything against that. Although we could just do Krasis next turn because we're going to hit our... What in the world is that thing? Convoke? A Convoke thing? Interesting. Oh, that's weird. Play this for our seventh land. Make a guy... Play Prison Realm to take care of their 6-6. Six, six. We get to Scry 2. Hydra, keep that on top all day. Play Teferi. We will... Minus Teferi. Bounce your Druid. 
and draw our creases. So next time we get to make a zombie and play a creases for three, four, five, six, and draw three cards. Ooh, we are we are hitting on all cylinders now. Oh no, this thing taps for double green. I'm shaking in my boots. Shaking in my boots. Oh my goodness, that's a silly, silly card. That is the silliest of cards. So now we can do three, six, seven. We can get a field of the dead plus six lands. And we can do that, I think. No attacks in the turn. I think I feel the ruin and then scape shift. Six times two is 12. 13, 14 would be 15. 10 is 20. So not, not quite lethal yet because they gained some life. I really don't want to give them a red source because I saw the the Omnath. Three, six, seven. Commit seven. But one field of the dead. We got our blast zone. Royal of Genius. Now we'll get Temple, Temple, Guildgate, Breeding Pool. Tapped. Tapped. And we'll push those off the side. All right, end of your turn. Make 15 duders plus you figure it out. Ah, crud. I'm so I'm so silly. I could have killed his dudes there. Ugh. Man, I could have just killed these three guys first. Whatever. I think I still got him, though. Or pretty darn close. Yeah, he's at two. Next turn, I can just do it. Well, do it now. The heck? Isn't that two counters on it? Oh, I came with one charge counter. <laughs> oh no. Now I feel really dumb. <laughs> we still got the win, but my goodness, I feel stupid. <laughs> it came with one counter, not two. <laughs> All right, so we picked up the victory. All right. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video of Bant Scape Shift. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the deck. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it frustrating? Are you going to play it in your next tournament? Again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And remember, magic is great and so are you. Stay positive and play islands.